Hey guys, my name is Ismas. Welcome to another Blender 2.8 beginner tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at this thin tool in Blender 2.8 and uh, this is a very useful tool when you're making uh, things that are round uh, and uh, let's see how we can do that, how we can use them. So just let's add, let's, let's begin with a plane like this, maybe rotate it 90 degrees like this. Uh, so in Blender 2.8, and uh, now the spin tool has its own interface. Uh, yeah, let me show you how. So if you go to edit mode, edit mode, uh, the spin tool works on everything, works on vertices, edges, and faces. So let's try by, let's begin with a face. And uh, so you will find it in the tool panel here. Uh, and it's the, uh, and it's this uh, tool here, icon here, and you can see has this interactive uh, icons here that you can use to, uh, to, to, to control the spin. Uh, so if we just use the plus here, you can see it just extrudes um, your selection in like a circular uh, form. And uh, so, and uh, the spin will be, uh, will use, the spin will use at uh, the cursor point as your uh, pivot point. So if we put the cursor here, you can see also this also moved. And now when we drag this, you can see we are spinning that like that. And now you can see we have the interface here. Uh, we can increase the resolution of our spin or the, the number of segments or steps. So the more you increase it, the more curved or the more polygons you will see and uh, the more curved it will be. Uh, you can also increase the angle here or reduce the angle angle or you can just use uh or you can just use um this i've already confirmed uh the spin so i can't use these controls anymore but uh basically that's how it works the cursor point will be the the anchor point for the spin and uh, you can use the those control points uh, to uh, to control the spin so let me let me add again a plane extrude this let's put our cursor here let's select this face extrude you can see so when you click on the plus you're just adding more spin so you can also move the cursor again uh, to move the spin and uh, you can make a different spin there maybe uh, now, when you use these axes, these control points here, you the the spin is locked to that axis uh, around around that, and uh, you can also control the angle using this uh, highlight here in the center. Uh, if you click plus, you're just creating another spin. Now, if you don't want to be constrained to that axis, you can just uh, drag. Uh, on from the side here and uh, what a blender will do will make the spin uh, in the orientation of your view so you can see if we move uh, the camera now you can see that the spin is in that direction and if we do another spin here you can see it is in this direction and uh, so you can come up with some abstract things here but uh, this is not what uh, we use uh, the, the spin tool primarily too, uh, for so mostly if you're going you're going to be using the spin tool mostly to create things like uh, glasses, uh, bottles, and uh, uh, maybe let's do that. So so the first thing you do is uh, create a profile of what you want to create. Say let's say a wine glass. So select maybe delete these edges. Let me first move from the spin tool to the move tool. So this is you you draw out the sh profile or the silhouette of uh, this the wine glass or whatever you want to to make. So I think that's a good shape. Maybe this needs to be thin like that. That's a good shape. And uh, you select everything and, and then use the spin tool. Make sure that the cursor is in the center there. And now you can spin this around. 
I see we have our wine glass like that. Uh, you can make the angle 360 so that it goes all the way like that and then you can increase the resolution here. If you want to increase the radius, you can increase it like that. So this will be at the radius, the inner radius or the center, something like that. Let me undo that. Let's do the spin again. Make sure the angle is 360. And now we have our wine glass. So we just need to add a subdivision surface on this to make it more smooth. And uh, also go to object mode, turn on uh, smooth shading. I see we have our wine glass. Very easy. It doesn't take us even uh, more than a minute to do. You can then you can add a solidify modifier there. Uh, just give it some thickness. Let's apply the scale. And you can give it a shader. Let's go to shading. Give it a glass. And uh, if we change to cycles. So you can easily create glass like that. I just need something in the background to show the refractions. So let's get um, environment image, HDRI. Reduce the roughness. And you have a glass very easily. Uh, you can also use it to make uh, bottles so you just again let me just show you the steps again uh, you just create a plane rotate 90 degrees uh, we, we only need one one vertex to draw the profile so I the bottle can be like I don't know whatever shape you think you can think of and then select everything use the spin tool okay make sure that uh, if you're rotating, if you're making the spin in a different angle like this, uh, you should rotate, you should use this plus to make the rotation locked to that axis. Make sure this is 360 degrees, it is, if you want to increase the segments. So whatever you, cr you create, make sure that uh, you, you, you can be as detailed as you want with the shape you want to go for. Let's add a smooth, a subdivision surface. Uh, if you're seeing this here, uh, it's because you have doubles there, so you just select everything, W, uh, remove doubles. Make sure you are in vertex mode, otherwise you won't be able to see that uh, remove doubles option. So if you, s if say you are in edge mode and hit W, you won't see the vertex uh, remove doubles option here. Uh, I think they changed it for 2.8. But uh, so you can see if you go to vertex mode, you can see that option now. Remove that. So the doubles come about because when you're making this the spin, let's undo this. When you're making the spin, these. Uh, those last, last vertices are on top of those ones there. So that's why you have doubles there. So you need to remove them. And uh, if you, you can see at the bottom here, it says removed zero. Uh, that's because the mud distance between those two is not enough. So you just increase them until you see that uh, we have some vertices removed. Uh, if you increase it further, it will start removing other vertices that are within that much distance. Now, when we add the sub sub, you can see we have that. Maybe we can uh, we calculate normals. We have our bottle. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.